What all we got here is the making of another forge. I've been commissioned by a feller and uh, he wants a two burner forge. And the deal is I'll build all the steel work. He'll order the kale wool and the burners. It worked out cheaper for him that way. Uh, easier for me, not gonna lie. That's why it's cheaper for him. Uh, to do this size forge, he can uh, order one row of the kale wool and be comfortable with it. I'm gonna make a a uh, door. I'm gonna cut a ring, weld it. This tank was cut for something else, but I'm gonna use it for this instead. Um, make a ring to keep the kale wool in there and and uh, probably should make a flat make the bottom flat maybe hmm not sure nah I'll leave it round and uh leave it round he set some fire bricks in there but anyways, this is how it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to cut this out best I can, and one of the burners will go there. I'll have to hammer the hammer and dolly that out just a little bit, and then the other one. Well, no, I'm going to weld this up because the there'll be a burner here and a burner here right along in here. Uh, he's not gonna be forging swords and stuff, I don't reckon, so. But I have been in contact with him and he agreed on this size tank here. Okay. I talk too much. I'll uh, give some more video as progress goes. I'm gonna try to use this to cut the holes for the pipe, the burners. Then I gotta drill some holes in the three holes in the tops for the burners to fit down in. And I may have those too long. I'll see once I get it. But I want the burner sticking through the wool. The wool will be about two inches thick. So I want the burner sticking through the wool. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so this didn't work. I successfully ate all the teeth off of it. Uh... I thought I had one that was for metal, but this is obviously not. So it's a piece of scrap metal now. I do, however, have a hammer hitting me in the toe. Those fantabulous step bits that my wife bought me, Christmas tree bits, whatever you want to call them. They're step bits, what I call them. So I got close to not really close, I still got a ways to go. Uh, I did manage to use that whole bit, whole, whole saw to mark the burner hose and I used the sticker to keep them straight-ish. Uh, 
two burners, he'll be able to heat some metal hot and fast. Probably get up to forging heat. We'll see. Fastest way to get the paint off. Now the wood's died down below the doodad and it's not, I just got that to feed oxygen to it because it wasn't wanting to burn so now it's burning fairly clean-ish. Nothing in there but wood and paper. So uh, I did use brake park cleaner to get the fire started. But it's burning all the powder coat off of the tank and stuff. So yeah, about maybe half hour or so it'll be should be done. I got this piece here welded on. Still got to clean some spatter and yuck off of it. Uh, welds aren't the greatest, but they're not my worst either. Uh, I didn't grind the weld. I just ground all the spatter and stuff. Uh, I still struggle with getting down in them corners like that, but I'll uh, probably go over that spot right there again. Had a little fill in to do there, so I'll make it prettier, maybe. But uh, anyways, on a lot of other forges I've seen, they got a shelf there. Put the steel on or bricks on to cover the forge opening so and I'm gonna go this opening's gonna be smaller that way you can get the um, refractory will stay in the insulation I don't know how well it shows up on camera but you see that discoloration in the steel that indicates good penetration Well, I didn't do much videoing again. I get fabric cobbling and forget. I got the face done. Now all that's left is uh, he wanted some little old legs of some sort and uh, weld the gas pipes in. I'm all, I'll paint it, ship it to him, and that'll be that. Here's what the gas tubes are gonna look like in there. I gotta level that one, straighten it up. But the face is all done. Still gotta do the feet. Tomorrow's another day though. I got a front one welded in, cleaned up. Uh, had to take the handle off because I had a tough time getting in there to weld that side. But I'll put the handle back on maybe if the customer wants. Uh, I still got to weld the nuts to the other one so that when he puts the gas, the burner in, he can, you know, hold it in place. I got three of them in it. I do the back one, weld it in, and do some legs. I'll probably finish this tomorrow. Wife be home shortly and spend time with her. Here's the welds on this before any grinding at all not too bad I need to wire wheel it and look at it I am gonna run the flap disc over it though because well reasons gotta weld this up make some feet then clean it all up and paint it and it's done my end of it's done well, other than the another coat of paint or pen, it is done. Uh, it's got the dual burners. Customer's going to put the ceramic wool inside. Uh, everything's welded. 
I gotta put some bolts in there. Well, there's one in that one, but I gotta put some bolts in there for the things to tighten down to hold the uh, burners in. I put the handle back on, knocked all the spatter off, threw a quick coat or two of paint on it. I still gotta flip it over and do the bottom, but I'll get another can of paint and uh, put paint on it. It's what I use for the grills and stuff like that I make. It seems to hold up pretty good. I don't know how to hold up on this, but I've I've explained that to him. And uh, he said if it don't hold up, he'll be fine with it because it'll be kept inside after use. But uh, anyways, I'll try to edit this video together. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me I'm an idiot. You know the spiel. Thanks.